Welcome back. So I'm now here with the Samsung Galaxy A10, the A105F. And I installed Android 14 to it. Yep. And it's working pretty good. It's uh, smooth enough. It, yeah. It's Android 14. It's just amazing. I think it's uh, really nice to as well have Android 14 running on the A10, but the install procedure was different. It was not like on the A40, unfortunately. And that had me, yeah, failing many times. But about two hours ago, I managed to boot into the system. Let's reboot the system so you can see it. And the GSI that I used for this project is the one from Thai. And Thai is a ex Microsoft um, developer, and he, in fact, released. Uh, the only Android 14 for the Surface Duo, a device that Microsoft is not updating anymore. And yeah, it will rest the soul, I think, on 12. And then, uh, beam, there we go. You must turn the screen. If you're gonna boot the device, all right. Otherwise, it will not boot up. You must make sure that the logo is at the top, so the moment it boots and when it started up, you turn it around again. That was just a practical joke. All right, so um, USB debugging wants to connect, no need to. Uh, battery is full, so we can remove the power. And as you can see, I disabled the camera because just like with the A40, I'm getting an error with the camera and then the whole thing stocks up. And the only thing you can do is volume down and power until it reboots and let it boot again. That's the only bug I found until now. Uh, the phone has IME, so I think it should work. You see that all the numbers are there, so that works. We have GAPS, GAPS is installed. Um, I went and collected the Aurora store because it connects again and I can find stuff, even though it's not showing too much here. I can look for something and actually download it. You see that? So if I need something, I can just download it. By the way, let me see what happened to, um, let me see what happened to Alexa. I, I heard that they updated Alexa. Alexa was updated and I can see that it's 144 megabytes now. So I'm just going to let that install. Um, so yeah, everything seems to work. Wi-Fi works. Radio works. So that is uh, as well amazing. It played radio. It had no random reboots or whatsoever. This is the yeah simple version that does not come with so much goodies. If you're looking for wallpapers, oh yeah, if you're online, you can get almost well, no, not the same. City shapes, life, textures, name it, C shapes. I used to like these wallpapers, you know? These kinds. Look at that, beautiful. And um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know if you want to know how to install it. I'm not sure if you are even interested still in this phone. But uh, of course, I can exactly explain to you how to install it. Uh, what you will need is the GSI. You will need the fix. Let me show you. Let's go into a recovery mode. Restart. Volume up and power. Wait for it. Okay. All right. First things first, you're on some ROM. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and format data. Reboot back into recovery, go to advanced wipe and wipe the fender. Reboot back into recovery and flash the A10 fender by Eureka team. After flashing the fender, you're gonna reboot back into the new fender. After you're back into recovery, yeah, you're gonna reboot back into recovery, not the system, into the recovery, of course, because we did not flash the system yet. And then you can go ahead and flash the GSI. I'm not sure um, if all GSIs will boot. I went for the one from Thai. Flash the fix, flash the boot image, and then flash Magisk. In that order, okay? Don't flash Magisk first and then the boot image. You, you must flash it in this order, the way I'm telling you. Okay, you flash the GSI after you update the Defender. You flash uh, the fix and you flash the boot image. Then you flash Magisk. Format data, type yes, and reboot. That's the install procedure. You don't have to change data to F to FS. No need. It can stay X4. Okay. So don't worry about the partitions. The partitions are all good. Just uh, install it the way I explained to you. And then you're going to have success. Also, very nice if you can get to it. I have no telegram, so I cannot go to the telegram room of the Eureka team, but they have the latest AOSP uh, kernel there that you can get, all right, and you can as well flash it, you know, because I flashed kernel 10 um, that I found on GitHub, it was from last year, although after uh, looking into the kernel uh, in settings, I saw that it used the P6 kernel automatically so i don't know if uh, flashing the kernel that which i did as well before uh, i got the thing to boot um i did many things and i as well flashed uh, yeah that kernel for the a10 that i got from github i don't know if it mattered you know if it does then uh, you must as well flash the aosp kernel for the device and all these tools are available, okay? Uh, but most of the times they're on Telegram. Guys, put them on dev uploads. Then you make a bug with, with your file and everybody can get to it. Because they're on Telegram. Some people don't want to go to Telegram. I don't like Telegram. It drives me nuts. You see? And I always get a fight with people. So I, I don't like that system there. I like YouTube and I like XDA, that's it. So yeah, all right, now you know how to install it uh, to the A10 as well. Welcome A10 family, you can now install Android 14. So I'm happy that I at least could bring uh, Android 14, or let me say differently, I did not bring Android 14. I installed Android 14 to the A devices. The A20 and the A40 are now covered. Um, I don't have the A20, so I cannot, you know, test and see how it must be done. 
but it can be done. Yeah, I'm sure that it can be done because yeah, if it can be done on the 105 and on the A40, it should as well be able to work on the A20 and the A30. But I think that, uh, yeah, because I don't have these phones, uh, yeah, you guys will have to wait until uh, Eureka team will work things out. Oh yeah, hey, by the way, I forgot, I forgot one important thing, the kernel. You must get, if, if you can, the latest AOSP kernel from Telegram. I, I could not get that one. So I got the one from 10, but they are at 12. So I got the one from GitHub, but it works. Yeah, it's uh, it's saying, what was the kernel saying? Uh, let me see. Oh, it is the A40. Oh, I need the A10. Let me take a quick look, peeps, because this is important. The kernel, kernel is 44. 302 P6 So yeah, I, I don't know I did flash The 2022 kernel, but I, I don't see it uh, in the ROM It's saying P6 But it works so it's all about it booting and working so if you have the A10 I as well uh, want to know if it worked out for you, if you could install it, okay? And then I wish you uh, good luck and thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was clear enough for you uh, so you can as well, thanks to that, you know, this information, install Android 14 to your A10. Thank you for watching, signing out.